Hi and welcome to Nextiv Tutorials. In this video I'll talk about trigonometry. Trigonometry is usually very hard for students, because there are so many identities, that is formulas, and students don't know where to start and how to learn all of them. Luckily for them, and of course for you who are watching this video, there is a simple way to learn all of these identities. All you have to do is to remember 5 identities, and then to use them to find all others. First thing you need to remember is sine of x plus epsilon. When expanded, you will get sine x times cosine epsilon plus sine epsilon times cosine x. Next one is sine of x minus epsilon. When expanded, you will get sine of x times cosine epsilon minus sine epsilon times cosine x. Next two identities involve cosine functions, and the first one is cosine of x plus epsilon. This identity has form cosine x times cosine epsilon minus sine x times sine epsilon. Then cosine of x minus epsilon. Cosine x times cosine epsilon plus sine x times sine epsilon. The last but not the least important is sine squared x plus cosine squared x is 1. And this is all you have to remember. Now let me show you how to use them to learn all other identities. Ok, let's find sine 2x. Let's write it as sine of x plus x. Now let's expand by using formula for sine of x plus epsilon. And you will get sine x times cosine x plus sine x times cosine x. Added together gives you 2 times sine x times cosine x. Now let's do the same for cosine 2x. Let's write it as cosine of x plus x. And when expanded, you will get cosine x times cosine x minus sine x times sine x, which is cosine squared x minus sine squared x. But we're not going to stop here. Let's remember that sine squared x plus cosine squared x is 1. So let's express sine squared x as 1 minus cosine squared x and replace it in the formula for cosine 2x. This gives you cosine squared x minus 1 plus cosine squared x, which is 2 times cosine squared x minus 1. And from here you get that cosine squared x is 1 plus cosine 2x over 2. Now let's do the same for cosine squared x. You get 1 minus sine squared x. And again let's replace it in formula for cosine 2x. You get 1 minus sine squared x minus sine squared x, which is 1 minus 2 times sine squared x. And from here you get that sine squared x is 1 minus cosine 2x over 2. Let's find sine 3x. Let's write it as sine of 2x 
plus x. Now let's expand it. Sine 2x times cosine x plus sine x times cosine 2x. Now let's use identities for sine 2x and cosine 2x, which now you know. And you'll get 2 sine x times cosine x times cosine x plus sine x times in brackets cosine squared x minus sine squared x. From here, idea is to express everything in terms of sine function. So let's express cosine squared x as 1 minus sine squared x. Now you will get 2 sine x times cosine squared x plus sine x times in brackets 1 minus sine squared x minus sine squared x. Again, let's remove cosine squared x and you will get 2 sine x times in brackets 1 minus sine squared x plus sine x times in brackets 1 minus 2 sine squared x. Now let's multiply this. 2 sine x minus 2 sine to third x plus sine x minus 2 sine to third x. And this is 3 sine x minus 4 sine to third x. Let's find cosine 3x. Again, idea is to express everything in terms of cosine function. So let's write it as cosine of 2x plus x. Now let's expand it. Cosine 2x times cosine x minus sine 2x times sine x. Now let's expand sine 2x and cosine 2x. So you'll get in brackets cosine squared x minus sine squared x times cosine x minus 2 sine x times cosine x times sine x. Let's express sine squared x as 1 minus cosine squared x. So you will get in brackets cosine squared x minus 1 plus cosine squared x times cosine x minus 2 sine squared x times cosine x. Again, let's remove sine squared x and you will get in brackets. 2 cosine squared x minus 1 times cosine x minus 2 cosine x times in brackets 1 minus cosine squared x. Now let's multiply this. 2 cosine to third x minus cosine x minus 2 cosine x plus 2 cosine to third x. And this is 4 cosine to third x minus 3 cosine x. Okay, let's find tangent of x plus epsilon. First, let's recall that tangent alpha is same as sine alpha over cosine alpha. So let's use it and write tangent of x plus epsilon as sine of x plus epsilon over cosine of x plus epsilon. 
Now let's expand this. Sin x times cosine epsilon plus sine epsilon times cosine x over cosine x times cosine epsilon minus sine x times sine epsilon. Now, idea is to express everything in terms of tangent x and tangent epsilon. To do that, let's collect cosine x times cosine epsilon from bottom expression and you will get sine x times cosine epsilon plus sine epsilon times cosine x over cosine x times cosine epsilon in brackets 1 minus sine x times sine epsilon over cosine x times cosine epsilon. Now let's look at this. Here, sine x times sine epsilon over cosine x times cosine epsilon is in fact tangent x times tangent epsilon. Now let's divide top expression by cosine x times cosine epsilon and you will get sine x times cosine epsilon over cosine x times cosine epsilon plus sine epsilon times cosine x over cosine x times cosine epsilon. And now everything over 1 minus tangent x times tangent epsilon. Now let's divide cosine epsilon over here and cosine x over here. So at the end you will get tangent x plus tangent epsilon over 1 minus tangent x times tangent epsilon. I've shown you how to find some trigonometric identities. I would like to ask you to find solutions for following identities cotangent of x plus epsilon, sine x times cosine epsilon, sine x times sine epsilon, and cosine x times cosine epsilon, and to tell me your answers in your comments. I hope that after watching this video you can see that trigonometry is not hard at all. I'd like to ask you to subscribe to my channel so you can be informed when I upload new videos. If you want any specific subjects to be explained, tell me in your comments. Thank you for watching and see you next time.